diabetes is fast becoming an important and prevalent problem. In Singapore, in 2010, 10% of our population have diabetes. So what is diabetes? Diabetes is a condition where the blood glucose or sugar regulation is impaired. Unregulated high glucose levels on the long run can lead to multiple complications. When we eat food, this is digested and converted into glucose in our bodies. Glucose is a simple form of sugar which gives us energy to perform activities and allows the body to carry out necessary cell functions. Having too much or too little glucose is not good. The ideal level of glucose in the body is maintained through a feedback system. And this is where insulin comes to play. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas. It is needed to control the level of glucose in the blood. When our body senses the presence of food in the form of glucose, insulin is released from the pancreas. Insulin allows glucose from the blood to be taken up into cells where it is used as energy to maintain normal body functions. Insulin helps the body clear up excess glucose in the blood after each meal and this maintains blood glucose within the normal range. However, when there's a problem with insulin production or function, the glucose level goes uncontrolled, a condition more commonly known as diabetes. There are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes is a condition where the pancreas cannot produce insulin. Without any insulin, glucose cannot enter the cells, but is left in the blood causing high blood glucose levels. Furthermore, the body will not be able to use glucose as a form of energy. In this group of patients, insulin in the form of injections is essential for survival. Type 2 diabetes is the more common form of diabetes. In type 2 diabetes, insulin is present but cannot function well, resulting in a phenomenon we call insulin resistance. Type 2 diabetes is often associated with obesity, high cholesterol levels and high blood pressure. Usually, type 2 diabetic patients can be managed with a combination of exercise, diet modifications and oral medications. However, over the years, the pancreas in type 2 diabetic patients can start to fail too, resulting in a lack of insulin to cope with glucose loads. Patients will then need to start on insulin treatment. When diabetes is not well controlled, the risk of diabetes-related complications increases. High glucose levels cause a buildup of harmful substances in our body. These can affect the small vessels as well as medium and large vessels. Small vessel complications affect organs such as the eye, kidney and the feet. Diabetic eye disease is called retinopathy and if this is not treated or screened for, can lead to impaired vision and blindness. Diabetic kidney disease manifests initially as protein in the urine and this can ultimately progress to kidney failure, leading to dialysis. Lastly, due to abnormal food sensation, diabetic food problems such as ulcers and infections can occur. Besides these, medium and large vessel complications that can occur include coronary heart disease, stroke and diabetic food conditions such as gangrene. To prevent these chronic complications, you should make sure that you have good diabetes control, ensure that your blood pressure and cholesterol levels are optimal, and stop smoking. It is important to ensure that you get the appropriate screening done at your diabetes clinic every year to detect and manage these complications. There was one night when I was watching a program, uh, I, uh, uh, I suddenly fainted. So my wife, my wife was there to to help me, and and uh, I thought it was it was already late. So they so she accompanied me to the polyclinic for checkup. Then through that result, the 
the doctors there were, were able to tell me that I have, I have got diabetes. After so many visits to the uh, dietitians, I have come to realize to manage my diabetes well is to get your diet right. Eating, eating high fiber food is vegetables, yes, salads, uh, fruits, yes, in different forms. Some of it I like, I like preparing it and my grand, granddaughter loves it. Besides that, exercises, exercise is Im equally important. I'm, I'm like any one of you uh, fellow Asians. And uh, a word or two to all of you diabeticians out there. We are all staying in the same place. Nine to five, eight to fours, or three to elevens or seven to threes. We are very hardworking Asians, but then, but then, we don't exercise very much. Baby, there are there are so many parks out there. It's all waiting for us, and there are so much so much high high fiber food, not in cans, but in the market. Let's do it. At present, there is no cure for diabetes. The goal of diabetes treatment is to keep your glucose levels within the target range specified by your doctor. With good self-care, appropriate diet, exercise and medications, people with diabetes can and do lead active and healthy lives. Join us next time when we talk more about diabetes medications and treatment.